Bike Camp Diaries. I'm not having a good time really. It's um it's not been what I've expected. First week was alright. Up until um up until they did the bubble trouble. Felt like they stitched me right up, you know. I was the guinea pig and the first guest on they gave me five of these questions for A to B, got five steps to get to them, blah blah blah. Give me such odd questions man. Everybody else got easy easy games. Darren Barker pull out something out of a cupboard. Who can't get that shit right? This week, of course, I'm not even on the programme. They're digging me out, man. They've got uh, Jamie Moore getting easy questions. They've got Shane McGuigan. They've got... Fi oh, mate. I'm not even getting into it. I just feel like they're digging me out. Matchroom boxing. Picking on the little guy. That's what it is. Matchroom boxing. Picking on the small guy. That's what, that's what it is. Other than that, you know, fighters are getting on, it's cool, everything's alright, could do with a little bit of needle, you know, um, Eddie chats more shit than everybody else obviously, but that's what he does, could do with a couple of fighters just to, some just to drop a little, you know, bit of dynamite in just to blow it up a little bit. It's alright, it's alright, it's just I'm, I'm pissed off with the... I'll tell you what I'm pissed off with. Darren Barker. Darren Barker. Again, Matchroom stitching me up on the social media. We was playing football outside and pinging some wicked balls into him. Straight to his feet. He's an old man. He's got bad hips. He can't move about. So my balls, 20, 30 yard balls straight over to his feet. Every time he's hoofing one up in the air, I'm pulling it out. Pulling it out of the ground. Control. Wicked. Matchroom boxing get the one clip where my touch was off. Digging me out on social media, all of the followers. It's just not on, man. It's not on. Shit, best to improve. Better improve, otherwise, I'm allowed to go off on one before Friday night. There's been a few wallies in there, but we're getting by. We're, um, we're in good spirits. We played a bit of cricket yesterday. Um, that was a good crack. Bit of football. I'm making. I had to uh, take a few wickets yesterday and uh, show Dave Cobble how to play football, which he's later going to relay uh, and tell his son Theo all the sort of um, advice I've given him because it's top class stuff, you know. And you hear this a lot of times from people, and they always say, you know, I could have made it, could have been a footballer, I had trials and all that. Though I didn't have trials, I could have made it, no doubt. <clears throat> I, I like to think of myself as like. Uh, I'd say like a Frank Lampard sort of player. A bit more box to box. It's a bit more about me. I probably would have scored more goals. But anyway, that's another thing. I went on and I, I pursued boxing and ended up winning the world title. The food is better this week, I must say. They've adjusted the menu, so that's uh, that's better. Um, oh, another thing. I'm, I will say, KP crisps are underrated. I never go into a shop and pick out KP crisps but they're nice and, and I'm talking ready salted as well ready salted KP crisps are decent um, so that, that's been a nice pleasant surprise um, what else we've just done bubble trouble um, the worst game show on TV um, me and Coldwell are currently lying in, in last position with one um, one point each Again, I like it. I think it was a stitch up because today the, the questions were ridiculously easy. Um, but there's one positive to come out of that. Me and uh, Eddie Hearn had an arm wrestle. And remember, Eddie Hearn's about five stone heavier than me. And I beat him. But I did put a hole for a big dent in the, um, the desk of mine and Chris's um, fight camp sort of station. So that's not good. Sorry, Rossi G. I know that's your, um, that's been your handiwork. I'm not putting it together. I can never imagine you building uh, a desk. But it's good in here. The food's better in here. 
everyone's in good spirits. Last week was unbelievable. I'm looking forward to the fights Friday. Um, layers. Hello, Terry. Hello, Ray. Nice for you to pop into the diary room. <laughs> How's your experience so far in the fight camp Big Brother house? You first, Ray. Good. The setup's good. It was a bit tricky first day because we were we had us testing and we couldn't leave his room, so we had a bit of cabin fever then. But now we've been allowed to walk about, mingle with other fighters, mingle with other trainers, and obviously we had a good day yesterday with the uh, Raymond. The I realise you're a very friendly man. You've got many friends. You get on with everyone. Not a bad word to say. What's your thoughts on Joe Gallagher turning up late? I feel that Joe's been playing a lot of mind games. He's trying to rock the boat a bit because he knows we're on one. He knows we, we know we've got the fresh, young, hungry champion here. You can't to beat a bit of fresh. <laughs> He's the only brother before him. <laughs> Terry, welcome. WBC, IBO, champion of the world. Does that sound good? Yes. Well, that's... <laughs> Will it sound good Friday night? Yes. Will it be and? And still. And still. Obviously. Written in the stars. <laughs> What's your take on the house fight camp so far? Well, at first, when you first come in, you think, oh my God, it's it's small, you've got nowhere to go. But the longer you're here, the more, more space you seem to have. So we're settled in and, uh, yeah, chilling, getting a... What nice people time. have noticed, the cleaners have put many complaints. They walk by your room and say it smells fishy. Can you explain? <laughs> I think that that's, that's, the, that, no, that's the salmon, yeah. That's, that's the salmon, salmon I'm cooking, nothing else. Oh, that's fishy. <laughs> Get in it. We've got the questionnaire. Yeah! The silly questionnaire. It's all being yeah, put on it. Off. It's me weight. <laughs> Bloody Nora. So what, what's your thoughts on it then, Billy? Uh, what do you think it's set up and all I that? think it's unreal. Everybody who's coming, popping here, say hello. Oh, anything. sorry, Terry. I have to look up here. But yeah, it's good. It's exciting. Uh, an experience that none of us have ever come across and probably something that we'll talk about for many years. And it, it's uh, really enjoyable. It's getting down to the nitty gritty now. And just can't wait for Friday. Hi. I'm in the fight camp bubble. I've just experienced something terrible. They made me film the second episode of Bubble Trouble. It was the worst show I've ever been involved with. I think it's going to be a career ender. The script, the quiz, the question, the logo, it was awful. So, if my career is done here, and you are watching Bubble Trouble, Matter and Boxing YouTube, I'm sorry. There's better stuff to come. Uh, we had just had the press conference. Um, Weigh in tomorrow, fight night Friday. Feel fantastic. Can't wait to get it on. Um, I just want to thank, thank everyone at Matchroom, all my friends, family, everyone. Uh, I was going to do something funny in there, but I, I, don't, I don't think I can. I'm too serious. I'm ready for the fight. It's been a bit eerie. Having not allowed to leave the premises for what we are now, day three. Um, but it's all good. Just done the press conference with Mr. Fowler. And um, yeah, tomorrow's weigh-in day. So hour by hour we're getting closer now. So yeah, need a time to rock and roll. Absolutely amazing little thing that Mr. Hearn's put on here with Matram. Um, but yeah, just giving you my little diary entry. Week two, day three, just on my dinner break. Um, becoming an internet sensation overnight. The security guy who does the testing getting tested. Never happened. Two tests down, but I've been temperature checked. And uh, 36, 36 bang on the nose, which is impressive to say you didn't even look at the screen. Um, but we're all safe, we've all been tested, and I feel better now I've got an, an internal test team also with Joe. Um, 
whenever we've got anyone and we're just thinking he looks a little bit warm, just knock on Joel's room. Joel, just pop out, we've got a test for you, mate. Um, good little sideline for him, good little sideline for him. Um, so, yeah, so we don't get very long for dinner, uh, security, you know how it is. So, uh, I'll, I'll get back, I'll crack on. How's your day been so far? You're looking slightly sweaty. What you been up to? I'll start, we've just done a final session of camp. Last punch out, sharp, ready to go. Yeah, she's had a good day today. She's uh, done the presser, so that's been fun and games. And she's just finished with her final punch now, a bit of relaxation, weighing tomorrow. We've enjoyed it really. It's been a good experience in this bubble. Double bubble! Does that mean we get paid twice then? Double bubble. <laughs> Andrew's been the king. Can tell we found anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's been stealing the free drinks. <laughs> We have a bad connection! <laughs> Grasp! <laughs> but on a serious note, we're having a great time. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop! I'm big brother man. God. Yeah. Well I'm gonna get down, we've got a slight problem. We've been doing uh, with diaries and we've tried to get out of diary room and we've been locked in, we can't get, in, I can't get out of diary room, so we're stuck in diary room. Yeah, I think one of the security... I'm claustrophobic! Oh. Let me out! Let me out! Sorry, well, shall... Have we actually been locked in? Yeah. We've been locked in, yeah. The, the security must have done it, taking piss. Ah, oh, we were some waiting here, it's a bit warm. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Wait, is this for real? Let the games begin. <laughs> Let the what, games begin. What's up the call in now? Call security. Hello? 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 Oh, I just need to get in bed. Hello? Here, yeah, I'll put the word! No! Go live! It's not! Can't push it! Push! Push? Yeah. Oh, I've been stuck in the. Oh, no way! You were just talking about that! You were just talking about that! <laughs> Hello Ray. Hello Terry. Welcome to Fight Camp Diary Room. We're back in the diary room. How's your morning been so far? My morning's been good. I've been a lazy pig. I've laid there, slept a little longer than I should have. But T's been doing megabits, haven't you? She's ready to go for a way in now. Yes, yeah, steady morning. Um, first first time I've been able to have breakfast before a weigh in, so all good. Wash my hair again, freshened up for cameras, and we're ready to jump on them scales. Good stuff. Ray, we have noticed on social media you're getting a bit of stick of being overweight. What's your, what's your reaction to these Twitter trolls calling yeah. you fatty? I used to be called Gerard Butler, but now I'm getting called Luke Shaw, so I don't know how to take that. It's a good job I'm a Man United fan, so I'll take that. But the diet starts Monday for me. Why Monday? <laughs> Why not today? Because I'm living my best life this weekend. I agree Raymond, that's the great attitude to have. <laughs> Terry, after the weighing, what's your plans? What's your interest in foods? Usually Nando's, but obviously the situation we're in, that's out the window, so second best. And I've heard it's called Roosters Piri Piri, so get some fluids back in and then get a nice order to the hotel. It's a bit of a uh, rant, actually. Um, I'm not eating the, the lunches that well here, so I thought I'd order something in. And I went for Rooster's uh, Peri Peri, and I ordered a prawn wrap. And it gives you the option to double up the prawns. So I did, it's five quid. So this one wrap comes to 17 quid. I'm not tired by any means, but that is a piss take. 
Um, so at the end of the day, when all said and done, that's all I've got to say. Hi guys, one day to go. Been a busy day. Signed the WBO Super Featherweight World Champion, Eva Brodnicka. Um, really, all for Terry Harper and Natasha Jonas to do tomorrow night. Basically, the winner of that fight will go on and unify the division against Brodnicka. Massive opportunity for everyone. and It's so good with women's boxing. You just get the champions. Will you fight this champion? Yes, it's so easy to get done. And I'm just so looking forward over the next year or so to just keep making the champions be the champions in the women's sport and I hopefully getting undisputed in every single division. Of course, next week we have to see the Brackhouse against Jessica McCaskill in Tulsa for the undisputed welterweight championship. The week after, we have Katie Taylor against Bassoon too for the undisputed lightweight championship. So, Harper Jonas, don't miss it, Sky Sports The Zone. Tomorrow night, the winner will go on and unify the division against Brodnick. Oh, very well, that has me airlock. Terrible <laughs> 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 Bought his own chin up bar. We all bought fridges and microwaves and he's bought a chin up bar and some bands. <laughs> <laughs> priorities, isn't it? It's all about priorities, isn't it? What else are you going to do in lockdown? Yeah, we also was a chin up bar in the gym, huh? Oh. Nah, you need to you know, one yeah, in your own room, don't you? Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, how do you do 200 reps minimum a day? If you don't oh, have pictures, that picture of me, it is, isn't it? I mean, they love you, really. You better turn a camera to it, man. It's a cool picture, mate. <laughs> I know. Get out of the chair, uh, big brother. Oh, here you are, mate. Uh, that's down the bottom. Oh, that's for Beckin. <laughs> <laughs> My left hook is as good as his, to be fair. Absolutely not. Hi, Fight Camp Diaries! <laughs> um, we had a discussion, me and Bella, outside, and we're going to incorporate uh, and bring Mason in on the chat. And we said if we were to win the Euro Millions, 120 mil to be precise, what would you do with it? Um, so over to you, mate. So we haven't heard yours. 120, 120 mil. mil. 120 mil. Free, yeah. I'd yeah. buy, I'd buy a house, big house. I'd probably spend, probably spend 10 mil on a house. Where? Switch that apartment. I'd go a little high rise in New York. High You'd house. move to New York. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, I would move, work for Matchroom USA. <laughs> <laughs> what? 120 mil on the bank. <laughs> yeah. Got to yeah, give me a play. That's commitment. I would leave. Uh, I'd give, uh, I'd give my parents ten mil each. Yeah. I give my brother um, five mil. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he get less than your parents? My parents looked after me from from birth, didn't they? He's just... But hold on, you leave your mum, dad, brother in England whilst you're swanning around in New York. Well, they can do what they want. Give That's why I'm giving them money. They can they can choose. I wouldn't force them to move to New York. Okay. Right. This is where it gets quite funny. I'd like listening to Bella, what she would do with 120 yeah, mil. Go on. 120 mil. I would go out and buy myself a rose matte G wagon. Yeah, she said she called it rose gold at first. Yeah, no, rose not correct. gold. A rose matte. gold <laughs> matte G wagon, and then I googled it and proved that they do it. No, no, it was just a colour no. rose. It was rose Either matte. Way, it was no gold in, Either in way, way, you're gonna see me drive past you in a G wagon. Right? Okay, that's the first thing you do. First thing I'll do <laughs> is go buy a G wagon. Then I would pack my bag. No, I wouldn't even pack my bags. I'd pay someone I'd, to pack no, my bags. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would literally get on a flight with my best mate. And go oh, anywhere, no, um, Tasha, oh. go anywhere and think about what I'm going to do with my money. I wouldn't just go, mm. I'm going 10 mil on a house, 10 million. Yeah, this seems I'll materialistic. Think though, about it. Mm. No, but I, and I'll, I'll drive to the airport in my G Wagon. How much was you give your friends? 
You can't I already said I wouldn't give anything to my friends. You I would ask. literally, you can't I would give anything literally to your friends. say because you, you give it to your family because your family are always there. You give it to your friends and people get too big and no, they no, become no, no, no. Well, I, What I said is I would put my friends on like some sort pay of payroll. Role. So I'd give them jobs, but they just get that. Like, yeah, you are, you, are, are you, right. you going to carry on? What well, you do before the bell if you win a hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've yeah. still got the income, right? Like, makes sense. No, I wouldn't. I'm only joking. <laughs> Last week I was on the roof. This week I'm here with all uh, with all this um, social media hype and all the build to this fight. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's mental. <laughs> to be fair, I've still got a job on at the minute. I've uh, I've got to be on FaceTime every day speaking to the boys on the roof. But um, I think that's. Um, that's all a part of my um, person, you know. Um, yeah, bits of dramas at the way in today. Obviously, them boys are shitting themselves. Uh, made me lose half a pound. Um, but I got it off and we're ready to go come fight night. Oh. Well, that was an eventful day. We've had everything today. We've had arguments. We've had tears. We've had people missing weight. We've had cancelled fight. Um, do you know, actually, last week was so straightforward in comparison. It's kind of what fight camp's all about, I suppose. Drama. Stories, emotion, it, it, it really had it all today, so I shouldn't complain. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow night, 24 hours and, um, and we'll be there. And then, and it's time for week three. <laughs> Hello Matchroom Diaries, <laughs> I've just come in here to see <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's half one, two o'clock, everyone's asleep, I've got no one to talk to, me coaches are asleep, the other fighters are asleep, I'm the only person wandering around like a zombie, uh, I'm gutted absolutely gutted Fiaz has um, caught ill and I uh, won't be able to fight tomorrow which means my dream's over I won't be able to fight tomorrow um, and yeah I just basically come here to say thank you thank you to Matchroom thank you to Eddie thank you to Sky Sports uh, apart, every, yeah, everyone a part of this week it's been amazing, but uh, a great week. Um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm obviously gutted. I can't, I can't put into words how gutted I am. I trained the hardest I've ever trained. Um, I live like a, I've lived like a professional. I've made weight like a professional. I've come in the lightest, and uh, the 24 hours less, and the, the fights off. I won't be fighting in the garden tomorrow. You know everything I worked hard for for the past few weeks is is off and I'm and I'm gutted, but yeah I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce back. I'll get knocked down, but I'll get up again. And you're never gonna keep me down. And Eddie's, I hope you're gonna put me on a show again soon because I'll be sending you loads of crying emojis and videos if you don't of me crying because I'm gutted. Um, I know Fiaz, I, I did release a video saying that I didn't think Fiaz was unwell and I, ta I take that back just because I, I wish him all the best and a speedy recovery and hopefully if it wasn't his arse that fell out then he, 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 he books the fight back in and we can get it on or if not if we can get someone on earlier I just, I just really want to fight or fight anyone anywhere but preferably in Eddie's garden because that's where I want oh yeah I just just get me another a, a fight if you can please I've had the best week ever I've met some great people Darren Barker what a legend absolute legend 
and he even knows you he knows my lines to say kind to so I feel privileged he's uh he picked me up to be fair a bit when I love everyone here um, everyone on the team all the the, the camp every everyone has has, uh, has only ever been nice but been extra nice after what's happened uh, and, and lifted me up because I probably would have gone on to a right tantrum he has cost me a lot of money to come here and it's cost my sponsors money and I've tried to the best but I haven't come here for money I've just come here to to show you that I can box more than it box eggs I can, I, can, I can actually box now and I just wanted to prove myself and and give myself I had the opportunity that Eddie gave me and I just I don't want that gone when I, you, I first had a picture with Eddie Owen when I was about to fight Conor Ben I remember my missus saying to me you need to start wearing shoes like Eddie he wears suave shoes uh, and I used to think suave shoes I, I can't dress like Eddie I can't wear but now I know Eddie Home wants trainers like Kane Baker, so you know, put that one in there. Uh, yeah, I just just thanks again. It's been a great week. Um, I look for good luck to all the fighters fighting tomorrow. I can't wait to see the the four fights. It's a shame it's not five. Um, but yeah, good luck to everyone. Thanks to Scott. Thanks to Matchroom. Thanks to absolutely everyone. I've, Everyone I've met here, Eddie, Adam, Frank Smith, ev absolute Darren, every person here has just been extra nice, it's been extra special and the show is going to be fantastic, I'm just gutted I'm not going to be a part of it. 3, 2, 1, you're back in the room, I'm back. Um, I just want to say, Eddie, I know how much you like my trainers and if you get me a fight, you can have my trainers. It's fight day, fight camp, week two. Yeah, it's been an interesting week. It's been different to the first week for, for many ways. And obviously we had the cancellation of the Fiaz and Baker fight last night, which is uh, disappointing. And uh, they got him for both lads, you know. Got him for Kane, he's trained his ass off in the build-up. He's had a proper notice and got him for a keeper. He's unwell, so we hope he recovers and we hope he is okay and we hope that fight can get made down the line hopefully that was a fight I was looking forward to but it is what it is so we continue with, with a four fight card and the fights that we have on you know it's going to make another another interesting evening we started with a bang last week and the eight guys going in there tonight have got some pressure to deliver and match up to that so looking forward to it week three is fast approaching we're back in here on Sunday there's some new characters joining us over the weekend it's going thick and fast and yeah I'm looking forward to the next three shows starting with tonight so it's going to be another cracker <laughs> oh, fight day sir final countdown it's fight day and uh, we've had some breakfast we've just got to go for a walk um, but last night we weren't were we Tash? no yeah it was good we, we had a laugh yeah so um, some might know this, some might not, but we were all this last night. I don't know if you Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house, boy. Bored, bored in a house and I'm in a house, boy. Bored, bored in a motherfucking house, boy. And I'm bored in a motherfucking house, boy. Bored in a 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 motherfucking house, boy. And I'm bored in a motherfucking house, boy. Yeah. So we were bored in the house last night, weren't we? But, uh, might you say, woke up to you now, fight day. You looking forward to it, Tash? Yeah, today's a different day, lots of energy, lots of... Um, yeah, plenty of sunshine, 37 oh, degrees are about to go on today, aren't we? Tasha's on um, any of my holidays this year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's pity just can't get the uh, towels out there and sunbathe, isn't oh. it, do you know what I mean? So, uh, it'll be really hot, um, they're on about like 29, 30, uh, or 27 I seen last night, the time you entered the ring uh, tonight. Um, so I know I had a, a moan at the beginning of the week about the commentary team being too close to the ring but I don't think they've got to thank me tonight because uh, I believe they've been put in a booth tonight so uh, that's got to be a... That was some of the um, feedback as well from last week weren't it so yeah, um, yeah. The, the, some of the fighters could hear what the commentary team was saying and was being influenced um, by it so obviously Sky have took that on board and have now put themselves in a box and 
hopefully it doesn't affect but with the first weeks it's always going to be teething problems and teeth issues and uh, obviously we've got it better. Like, like you said that this type of environment it's never been done before and like you say the NHS when the first uh, wave of the coronavirus come no one knows what to do um, so like you say that each week now they're getting on that they are asking for constructive criticism back so then by the time the pay-per-view event will be here the, it'll be a lot more polished won't it yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean and the setup of it and the hotel and fair play the, the, the staff here at the Holiday Inn they're running around all morning delivering to your rooms your breakfast and then your dinner whatever you want you're not having to wait for ages so fair play to them they've done a, a good job and uh, it's just it's just weird here we're at the end of a corridor so we managed to walk a little bit further than yeah. everyone else today um, then you're out into a courtyard and then we're into a, an area what I call uh, Shawshank Redemption where you just do your little 50 metres walk but they're back and forth all the time don't you so like it's weird the, isn't it? Um, Green Mile chain gang and you just, you just walk up from one end of the corridor to the to the open foyer area which takes literally 20 seconds and then that's, that's like that's as far as it goes that's your walk so we used to like get out and about and just like having a little walk around to maybe a city centre or wherever um, the shows are but you obviously can't do that and it is what it is you've got to keep, keep, be safe and obviously everyone wants to um, stay safe so no no definitely so we're going to uh have our breakfast we'll go out and get a little bit of the sun before it gets too hot we've got the doctors today medical oh, today Thank you, twins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, one o'clock, we've seen the doctor today, and then, then we're heading over there on tonight around seven o'clock, something like that. It was a shame that one of the fights is off. Uh, young Fiaz, he took up took ill last night, didn't yeah, he? And yeah. he's off the bill, but I was good for Kane. Kane was living the dream yesterday. He was so excited yesterday morning. He was buzzing, walking around, and then last night he was just absolutely uh, gutted, devastated. So hopefully, like I say, he gets his wages and. Uh, Eddie and Matt Room and that, uh, I think they've promised to, to get him out, whether they put him on a pay-per-view show or just reschedule this fight, but uh, the kid was devilled last night, wasn't Yeah, he? and it's hard to see that because I, I know what I've put into this camp and obviously, you, you know, people only see the, you know, the six threes or the, you know, the ten twos that were in the ring, but they don't realise, you, you know, the ten weeks and the twelve weeks that we've, we've put in just to just to be here and you know there's a spent expenses to pay and you know he did he's got himself new boots out me and yeah we tried to have the boots off him yeah. last night already <laughs> so we can really use your boots on the show <laughs> so it, it is heartbreaking for him because you know all the hard work personally that's gone into you being the the, the best athlete on the night and it's it's sad to see and it, there's no there's no thing against fias because obviously you can't help that he, he he wasn't well but it's devastating for both it's a big platform it's the second week of fight camp everyone's still talking about the first week and more people are tuning in and more people get involved and um it was a chance for them both to show who, how good they were and um it, unfortunately it's not going to happen for either so that's sad times yeah no uh I'd like to say um i've seen eddie posting this morning he's seen the he watched the uh fireworks or the, the ring walk entrances for tonight so I get you a, a little bit excited thinking of what's ahead later on today and for them I've seen a lot of people querying this morning that obviously the Manchester City uh, Real Madrid games on today um, but that, that that won't clash with Natasha Jones's fight that'll be over by half an hour uh, beforehand so uh, don't have to worry you can uh, watch the football and uh, tune in and uh, watch uh, the all first all female British world title fight history made tonight in Eddie's back garden and uh, like I say hopefully um, these t these belts are going back to, to Liverpool and they'll be on yes and we'll be on Liverpool Football Club's parade bus that's what Natasha wants she wants to get on there with Henderson on the parade bus when they do it through the city whenever that is later on this year and uh, she'd like to be on there so uh, so I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that is it you like that yeah <laughs> so uh, that's it listen um uh, Thanks for everyone tuning in. Enjoy the fight tonight, and uh, we'll uh, see you. See you again soon. See you later. Yeah, sound. So uh, that's it. Thank you. Feeling good today. I walked Dave on FIFA eight nil. You weren't very happy about that. He's um, pulling some excuses out, saying that the paddle broke. I changed the settings. He let me win for keep my confidence up so Dave come on you're going to have to do better than that 
I'll have to have a rematch. And yeah, just chilled out today, ready for later on. Time to shine. So Dave, if you want another game of FIFA, room 42, you know where I am. Hope he blows his terrifying set Charlie's on fire! Hope he blows his terrifying set Charlie's on fire! Hope he blows his terrifying set Charlie's on fire! Hope he blows his terrifying set Charlie's on fire! Hope he blows his terrifying set Charlie